In this video, we're going to look at another example of a proof by induction. In this case, it's called the sum of squares problem. Uh, but first, let's recall the rules, the method for mathematical induction. Probably getting tired of me going over this at this point, but I'm going to do it anyway. We want to show that the property we're trying to prove is true for the first value in our sequence. And then our inductive step is to show that if the property is true for some k value, in our sequence, then it is true for p of k plus 1. And again, we're going to suppose this part in our inductive hypothesis. And we are going to deduce this part, or show this part. Now let's take a minute, you've seen me do a couple of examples so far in the previous videos. Why don't you take a moment and pause the video and try this one on your own. Okay, so pause it, give it a shot. Doesn't matter if you get it wrong, we're gonna go over it. Okay, well I hope you gave it a good shot. Now here we can go over and you can check your work. First of all, as usual, I'm going to rewrite this theorem in summation notation. So this part right here, we can rewrite as the sum of i equals 1 to n of i squared. And so we can rewrite our theorem and say this summation equals n, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Okay. And then we're going to do a proof by induction. And the base case is going to be Again, we look at where our sequence can start. The smallest value that n can have is 1. So, so far our examples all start at 1. That is by no means required. Uh, this just happens to be the way these problems have worked out. So then we want to approach this left-hand side by right-hand side. So the left-hand side, we're going to put this in, i equals 1 to 1 of i squared. It's going to be 1 squared, which is 1. And then we look at the right-hand side of the equation. And we're going to have 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 all over 6. This becomes 1 times 2 times, uh, this last part is going to be 2 plus 1 is 3, over 6. This gives us 6 over 6, which cancels and gives us 1. So since the base case, both parts evaluated the same answer, our base case holds. So in this problem, I'm going to skip writing this out as a universal conditional statement, and instead I'm going to go straight to the inductive hypothesis.
And again, let's remember this is the same thing um, as saying the sum of i equals 1 to n of i squared is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. So we're going to have our inductive hypothesis. We have the inductive, excuse me, should be the inductive step. And the first part of the inductive step is the inductive hypothesis. And recall that we're going to start by supposing that this holds true for some k. So I'm going to replace all the n's with k's. for some k greater than or equal to 1. And then we're going to show and again now we substitute replace all the k's with k plus 1's. And if we simplify this slightly, we're going to get k plus 1 times k plus 2 times, if you do the algebra, this works out to 2k plus 3, all over 6. So this is what we're going to try to show. And again, as we've shown before, we can pick either side to start with. And this is not always the case, but with these summation problems, it's usually easiest to start with a summation. So we want to start here. Okay. So here we're going to have the sum of i equals 1 to k plus 1 of i squared. And as in the previous problems, we're going to pull the final term off, term off so we can use the inductive hypothesis. And that final term is going to be the k plus 1 term, and it will be squared. Okay, and we can use the inductive hypothesis on this part. We know what that is. This whole thing is going to equal, and again, if we go up and look at our inductive hypothesis, it's going to equal that. Right, so we can substitute this part in for that. So this is going to equal k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 over 6. And then we can't forget this last term over here by the inductive hypothesis. Okay, now once again we have a bunch of algebra. I think the algebra is the worst part of these. And simplifying this, we get k Now I'm going to rewrite that up here where we were where we left off.
on your piece of paper, of course, you don't have to keep rewriting these things. These slides are only so big. Okay, if we simplify this a little bit, notice there's a k plus 1 over here and a k plus 1 over here. We can factor that out. And what's left is a k, 2k plus 1 plus 6k plus 1, all over 6. And if we multiply all of that out, which I will leave for you to do on your own, but you're going to get 2k squared plus 7k plus 6 all over 6. And if you factor this quadratic equation right here, what you're going to get, and again, I'll let you do that on your own, and this is exactly what we said we wanted to show. We wanted to show this that, that summation gives us this output which is what we found and we've proved our problem